Hello learners today in this video we are going to learn 8th standard science chapter number 11 human body and organ system we have already learned about organs and organ systems so in this session we are going to learn respiratory system before we get started let's take a look at the agenda the first module of this session is organ system followed by next module respiratory system where we will get acquaint ourselves with external respiration structure of respiratory system and function of respiratory system in this session we will get familiar with vocabulary words like respiration inhalation exhalation alveoli diaphragm and many more let's begin with our first module that is organ system and organ system is a group of organs that work together to perform a certain function in an organism's body various organs like digestive respiratory circulatory nervous excretory reproductive skeletal and muscular etc are functioning in our body let's start with our next module that is respiration respiration is defined as the biochemical process wherein the living cell of an organism produce energy by taking oxygen in and liberating carbon dioxide from the oxidation of complex organic substances respiration is carried out through three steps first one is internal respiration second one is external respiration and third one is cellular respiration let's study about external respiration breathing is a process the process of inspiration and expiration is vital to provide oxygen to tissues and remove carbon dioxide from the body in external respiration there are two processes that are inhalation also called as inspiration and exhalation known as expiration both of the processes occurring with the help of lungs are collectively called as external respiration <clears throat> inhalation inhalation means intake of air into the lungs the size of the chest in the process increases and expand exhalation means expelling air outside of the lungs size of the chest in the process decreases and reduces let's fo focus on the topic internal respiration in this respiration there is a exchange of gases between cells and tissue fluid oxygen move from blood into tissue fluids and carbon dioxide moves from tissue into blood let's move towards cellular respiration cellular respiration is a set of metabolic reactions that takes place in all living cells to release energy by converting biochemical energy from nutrients into endorphin 
triphosphate that is also called as ATP and then release waste products like carbon dioxide and water vapor. Then let us see what is the balance chemical equation for cellular respiration. Glucose when react with oxygen liberate carbon dioxide and water and energy that energy is also called as endocyne triphosphate short form is ATP. Let us begin with our next module that is respiratory system. Firstly we will get familiar with the different parts of it they are nodes, pharynx, windpipe, lungs and diaphragm. Let us see the functions of each part of the respiratory system. The first part is nodes. Respiratory system and respiration begins with nodes. Air is filtered with the help of hair and mucus present in the nodes. Next part is pharynx. Food pipe and wind pipe is originated in the pharynx. Wind pipe is present in front of the food pipe. There is a lid at the beginning of windpipe. When food particles get passes through the food pipe, this lid closes the windpipe and avoid entry of food particles into it. Otherwise, windpipe remains open and air passes through pharynx into windpipe. Next part is windpipe. It is swollen at the beginning due to the sound box. It is bifurcates into thorax. One branch enter the right lung and other enter into the left lung. Next part is lungs. Lungs are the part of the human respiratory system which function, functions and keeps on functioning continuously until the last minute of our life. Similar to the brain, heart and other organs, lungs also play a vital role in both humans and animals. What are the lungs? Lungs plays a major role in the respiratory system. Humans have two lungs which are situated with the thoracic cavity of the chest. They are soft, spongy and elastic organs enclosed in a thin membranous sac called pleura. Lungs are divided into small structure called bronchi which are divided into bronchiolus and alveoli which provide a larger surface area and maximize the exchange of gases into the inside the lungs. Alveoli Gas, Gaseous exchange can take place across the alveoli. We are all well aware of the importance of oxygen for survival. Hence, one must also be familiar with the transportation, exchange and regulation of necessary gases. Oxygen get carried by hemoglobin of the red blood cells since it has a great affinity for oxygen. Each hemoglobin molecules binds of four molecules of oxygen. This oxygen that is picked up by hemoglobin get transported by the blood to various tissues. As carbon dioxide is more soluble in water than oxygen, they are transported in the dissolved form in our blood. While 
some are also transported by hemoglobin not all of the carbon dioxide form is expelled from the body as some of it react with water to form compounds use, useful for the processes let's see what is diaphragm the diaphragm is the primary muscles used in respiration which is the process of breathing the dome shape muscles is located just below the lungs and heart it contracts continuously as you breathe in and out it contracts and flatten when you inhale this create a vacuum effect that pulls air into the lungs when you exhale the diaphragm relaxes and the air is pushed out the lungs so let's summarize what we have learned in this session pupils got familiar with organ system and respiratory system this is all for today's session thank you